Champaign, Illinois, a small town of 5,700 people with beautiful historic homes, great schools, and a newly expanded hospital. But most importantly, great people ready to work with Ben, Aaron, and HGTV to transform our hometown. Nestled among fertile farmland that is home to many family-owned farms and was once home to the industry that gave us our nickname, the City of Roses. But times change, and whole industries can disappear. Twisted steel and broken glass upon the ground Now the last green house is gone in the city of Rosen Where I was born, yes I was born In the city of Rosen uh, Those greenhouses had been gone for over 10 years and we were still discussing, you know, the impact of, of that uh, uh, 10 years later. Couple that with Walmart coming to town and local businesses closed left and right. A once bustling downtown now sits mostly vacant and in urgent need of repair. Our downtown is, still has a number of abandoned buildings with beautiful 100-year-old architecture, and fortunately some of them need a lot of major repairs. In 2018, our Walmart permanently closed, and a downtown resurgence is in the making with several new businesses setting up shop. Brew and Hope, when we started, it was kind of a passion project. I found out that my individuals with special needs that are out of high school don't have anywhere to go. We created a coffee house that is completely staffed by job coaches and individual special needs and the community has supported us 100%. That also brings um, parents to AMP. They realize that there's a way that my kids can learn these social skills and be able to continue to grow and be able to come into the workforce. Here at Taylor Trading, we refurbished old furniture and give it new life. And that's what our hometown needs, is new life. And if you would come in, we could refurbish the buildings, the homes, and give it new life, just like we give our furniture new life. The Roseland Theater uh, was on the verge of closing down because they didn't have a digital uh, projector. And the owners asked for help for that projector to be uh, collected, for money to be collected so they could help get that digital projector. The town came and did it. The downtown is home to several ornate metal storefronts. Seeing these restored, and in some cases uncovered, would energize the downtown and build on the momentum our citizens have created. Many of the downtown struggles are mirrored in Pena's historic residential neighborhoods, but several Pena residents are stepping up and restoring historic homes. My favorite part of Pena is definitely the historical value that we have here and um, the potential that we have to make this town great. It's full of character, it's got so many old beautiful buildings that just need some serious help to be restored and maintained after that. Our home was beyond disrepair when we purchased it and many people thought it should be torn down and we saw so much beauty, so much potential in it, just as we see in the rest of the town. As we got more and more work done on the home, we realized what a positive impact this was having on the community at large. People would stop us in the street and thank us for taking on this project, and that's something we never could have expected or anticipated. It means so much to the people of the town to see something positive happening and to see that forward momentum. I know that if we can just get more going for this town, that they have the ambition to drive the pride in themselves to continue to make Pena grow and become the beautiful city that it always has been. One such grand home has been a funeral home and a doctor's office, but started its life as a single family home, the Paddock Mansion, built by Pena's most successful lumber baron. Seeing this building restored would mean so much to the town. There are numerous other options for beautiful historic homes just waiting to be brought back to life here in Pena. Perhaps the crown jewel of the city is Pena's historic Kitchell Park. Kitchell Park is probably one of the highlights for me. It just means a lot being there and where I spent my childhood. I've done a lot of fundraising to, to restore the bridge over the lagoon at Kitchell Park and the Chautauqua building. The whimsical 1910 Schuyler Bridge leads to a picturesque island on a lagoon. Can't you just envision hometown creating a world-class rose garden on this island? After all, 
we're the city of roses. Pena has a long history of supporting families, children, and our high school. My favorite part of Pena is um, the sense of community and the focus on family. I think that's really important for me as a single mom of three, that resources are put into things for families and kids. The town's historic library even got a shout out from our youngest volunteer. What's your favorite part of Pena? The library. And why do you like the library? Because it has a lot of books and it's quiet. The citizens of Pena have formed a nonprofit called Pena Pride, dedicated to reviving the city. Pena Pride has been working very, very hard to increase beautification within our community, uh, bring industry within our communities, uh, sponsor special events within our community, but I just feel like we need one more push. I think it would build on the momentum that Pena Pride started with doing the Yard of the Month and doing little things around town like painting some of the retaining walls and doing some of the curb work in the area and I think it would just further build on that momentum and help motivate people to work on their own homes or, you know, inspire them to help others. Pena, Illinois. Our struggles may not be behind us, but we are facing them head on. And with Ben and Aaron's help, we know hometown can transform our community. Pena deserves a hometown takeover because we're moving forward. We want to save what we have. Because we're able because we're ready to clean up our hometown. Because we are a diverse growing community. We have the vision to make Pena a better place to call home. Because we're worth saving. Pena pride. There's nothing else like it. Because I do not want to see one more historical home or building end up in a landfill. Because with your help, the City of Roses can bloom again. Because we need your help. We can't do it by ourselves. We are the future because this is our hometown.